one time I went to a friend's house and it was painted all red. I was like, ah, who paints a house red? I really thought I was going to be used for sacrifice. My God, it was the worst color ever. Welcome back to my channel. It's amazing to have you back here. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so that you will be the first to know when I drop amazing videos. Have you ever wondered why restaurants are painted red, yellow? Or why hospitals are painted neutral colors like white or light blue? Colors play an important part in our lives. You may not even know. It affects the way you think, the way you select stuff, the way you buy stuff, and your psychology in total. Color is a tool that marketers, advertisers, and interior designers, and a lot of other people use to make you do stuff, to make you feel a type of way, to make you see things the way they want you to see it. Have you ever seen an advertisement on TV that gets you really excited? You're not sure if it's the product, the color, or the presentation that gets you so excited. It happens so passively that you wouldn't even notice, even to as little as a call out text or a buy now button. Colors are intentional. I know you're thinking, you've never really noticed these things, but yeah, these things are intentional. So wait a minute. Have you noticed that most restaurants have either red, yellow, or orange as their major colors? Like Sweet Sensation, KFC, Chicken Republic, Tantalizer, The Place. I can give you a long list of restaurants that have red. This is intentional. It's because red makes you hungry. And when you get hungry, you will buy food. So you see, it's okay for restaurants to be painted red. But how would you feel if you go to a hotel and you see it painted red or black? Really, how would you feel? Would you sleep there? Would you sleep there? No. So when you understand how colors work, it will help you get the right colors for your home and for your offices. Color selection is something that a lot of people still don't understand. The fact that you like wearing pink doesn't necessarily make it okay to paint your house pink or paint your office pink. You'll just be looking like a clown if you do that. The first thing to do before you select a color is to understand the purpose of the space. How do you want to feel when you enter a particular place? What kind of emotion do you want to create? When you understand the kind of emotion you want to create, it will help you select the exact color that will create the ambience and the emotion you want to have or that you want your clients to have. Do you know some colors can make you feel uneasy, can make you feel scared, have you ever wondered why most times ceilings are white? White gives you an illusion of space. So painting your ceiling white gives you an illusion that there's more headroom. People who are claustrophobic would be comfortable in white spaces. So let's briefly talk about the meaning and importance of some popular colors. Let's begin with the almighty red. Red is an exciting and compelling color. It means love as well as danger. That's why you should know when to use it so that you don't misrepresent the emotion you're trying to convey. Red also stimulates hunger. As I said earlier, that's why most restaurants use red either as their primary or secondary colors. Yellow is a happy color. It represents the sun. It is linked with having fun, cheerfulness, summer, and general excitement. Yellow is one of the colors food vendors and restaurants use because of the excitement it brings. However, when selecting yellow as your major color, you need to be careful because some shades can be really boring and bland. Blue used to be my very best color. It represents the sky and the sea. It's a peaceful and calming color. However, it can be too cold and depressing if you don't use it right. When you hear the color pink, what comes to your mind? Barbie, right? Yeah. Pink is a girly, playful color, sometimes called immature color. Pink represents femininity. That's why you hardly see men wear pink. Anyway, fashion these days is becoming fluid. That's why men can wear virtually any color they want. But originally, pink is a female color. Gray. Gray is a neutral color because it falls in between white and black. Gray also has a way of making you feel depressed because of its neutrality. When using gray as your major color at home or anywhere, you need a pop of other colors. You need good accent colors to make the space stand out. Without thinking too much, you know green represents nature, fertility, generosity, 
vegetation, and even money, dollar bills. So I'm just gonna stop here with the color naming. There are so many colors. You can read more about it on our blog. When you have figured the kind of emotion you want to create or the feel you want to achieve, you can go ahead and select a major color. You can also select two accent colors to make it more interesting. But you can also stick to a single color and create a monochromatic scheme. This just simply means using one color, different shades and tints to create something beautiful. To effectively do this, you can use a color wheel so that you would know the right shades and tints of the color you have chosen to use. As I'll always say, make your space unique to you. Let it represent your personality, your taste and your style. Your space has to be comfortable. Color selection can be fun and yet confusing. If you're having an issue figuring it out, feel free to contact us. We'll be glad to assist you. So if you like this video, leave a thumb up, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, bye.